hello our next video is about adjusting entries depreciation what is depreciation it is the allocation of the cost of property over its period of use it is also known as a portion of the cost of a fixed asset that is charged to income for a particular year or period it is the decrease in the utility of the asset through use so anong mga uh, assets ang dinedepreciate? So, all property, plant, and equipment except land are subject to depreciation. So, bakit hindi dinedepreciate ang land? Kasi yung land habang tumatagal, nag increase ang kanyang value. Ang tawag natin doon is nag appreciate ang kanyang value. So, lahat ng property, plant, and equipment maliban sa land ay dinedepreciate. Example, furnitures, building, uh, equipments, machinery, vehicles, okay, dinedepreciate ang mga yan. So, bakit kailangan i-depreciate? Kasi nga, habang tumatagal sa kagagamit na sa kanila, ah, nagdi-decrease ang kanilang value. So, we have three factors to consider in the computation of depreciation. The first is the price paid for the asset. Yun yung tawag natin ay cost of property. The second factor is the number of years that the property is expected to be used. Ito yung estimated useful life or estimated life. Like for example, bumili ka ng machine, uh, gaano ba siya katagal na mapapakinabangan? So pag sinabing 5 years, yun yung estimated life. Then we have the amount that can be received from the sale of the asset after its estimated life. Ito yung tinatawag nating scrap or salvage value. So, Ito yung amount na maibibenta natin siya or makukuha natin kapag dinispose natin itong ating asset after ng kanyang estimated life. So, anong method ang ginagamit in the computation of depreciation? Maraming methods. Pero, in basic accounting, ang dinidiscuss lamang natin is straight line method. This is the most commonly used method and the simplest to put into operation. So, it results in the equal distribution of charges over the life of the asset. So, uniform lang yung kanyang uh, amount. So, paano yung formula? The formula for computing depreciation of property usually determines the amount of depreciation expense take note on a yearly basis. So, yung nakocompute natin is annual depreciation. Ito, annual depreciation. So, annual depreciation using the straight line method, ito ang formula. Annual depreciation is equal to cost, okay, minus scrap value, divided by the estimated useful life, it should be expressed in years. Kasi nga, ang ating kinocompute ay annual depreciation. So, annual depreciation is equal to cost, minus scrap value, divided by estimated useful life of the asset. So, let us have example number one. An equipment which was purchased on January 1 for 160,000 pesos is estimated to have a useful life of 10 years at the end of which it can be sold for 40,000. So, tingnan natin, ano yung ating given? We have 160,000, ano to? This is the cost of the property. Then, 10 years is the estimated life and 40,000 is the scrap or the salvage value. So, let us compute. Using the formula or using straight line method, cost minus scrap value over estimated useful life, we have 160,000 minus 40,000 divided by 10 years, we have 120,000 divided by 10 years. So we have 12,000. Annual depreciation is 12,000. So therefore, kung 12,000 ang annual depreciation, ang depreciation niya per month is 1 thousand pesos. Paano na kuha yun? 12,000 per year divided by 12 months. So, paano ang ating adjusting entry? So, take note, ha? binili natin siya ng January 1. Paano ang ating adjusting entry? Using this computation, eto ang ating adjusting entry on December 31. Debit, depreciation expense, dash equipment, 12,000 credit, accumulated depreciation, dash equipment 12,000. So, kailangan ba talagang i-identify ito? Yes. Kailangan mo ilagay kung anong klaseng equipment, uh, property, 
Kasi nga, baka marami kang properties na dinedepreciate. So, kailang ma-identify. So, saan ang galing yung 12,000? Yan actually yung ating kinumpius. Ibig sabihin, yung 12,000, eto yung ating depreciation for the year. Kasi binili natin siya ng January 1, Okay, at the end of the accounting period, kapag calendar year siya, December 31, so one year siyang ginamit. So, ang ating depreciation ay 12,000 kasi 1,000 per month times 12 months, we have 12,000 pesos. I hope na intindihan. And example number two, what if may tinatawag tayong fractional depreciation? Ano yung fractional depreciation? It refers to a proportionate amount of depreciation for less than one year. Meaning, binili mo ang property uh, or yung asset ng kalagitnaan ng accounting period mo. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya nagamit or not necessarily kalagitnaan, kundi ibig sabihin, uh, hindi mo siya nagamit ng isang buong taon. Kasi nga, nabili mo siya is nakapagsimula na ang accounting period. So, example, yung example number one natin, na-revise lang natin ang date of purchase. So, equipment which was purchased on September 1 for 160,000 is estimated to have a useful life of 10 years, at the end of which it can be sold for 40,000. Take note that the date of purchase here is September 1. Okay, September 1. Balikan natin yung ating computation kanina. Based sa ating straight line method, we have annual depreciation of 12,000. And we have depreciation per month na 1,000. Okay, so ang tanong is, ilang months ba natin siya nagamit for this year? September 1 binili. So September, October, November, December, we have 4 months. So 4 months times 1,000 per month, we have 4,000. So, ang ating entry, debit, depreciation expense, equipment, 4,000, credit, accumulated depreciation, dash equipment, 4,000 pesos. Ayan siya. So, yan yung fractional depreciation. And we have example number 3. Minsan yung given ganito. For example, in this example, sa trial balance, December 31, may nakalagay sa trial balance equipment, 24,000, yun yung cost niya. Furniture, 6,000, yan din yung bili niya. Nakalagay sa additional information sa trial balance, equipment is depreciated at 20% per annum. Per annum means one year. And furniture is depreciated at 25% per annum. So kapag ganito ang given, paano natin kukomputin ang ating Adjusting entry. Okay. Ang ating adjusting entry will be debit, depreciation expense, dash equipment, 4,800 credit, accumulated depreciation, dash equipment, 4,800. Paano nakuha yun? Ayan. So, annual depreciation is equal to yung 24,000 na cost niya times 20% or 0.2, you get 4,800. Yan yung sa equipment. Paano naman sa furniture? We have 1,500. Paano siya na-compute? 6,000 times 25%. We have 1,500. Okay? So, I hope nakukuha ito. What is net book value? So, isa-isahin muna natin yung ating mga Uh, account sa ating adjusting entry, we have depreciation expense. So, what is that? It is the allocation of the cost of the property to the period during which it is used. Sa example number 1 natin, meron tayong nakalagay na debit depreciation expense, 12,000 pesos. Ano yun? Yung 12,000 pesos, meaning, yun yung nabawas mula sa cost ng ating property dahil sa paggamit natin sa asset or sa equipment. Ano yung accumulated depreciation? It is the total amount, take note, it is the total amount of depreciation that has already been recorded for the property. So, from the word accumulate, meaning pinagsama-sama, tinotal, inad. So, pag yung depreciation expense bawat taon, okay, pinapasok natin siya sa account ng accumulated depreciation 
So, pag pinagsama-sama ang lahat ng depreciation, expense taon-taon, ang total nun ay accumulated depreciation. Hanggang sa siya ay maging fully depreciated, kailan yun mangyayari? Kapag naubos yung kanyang estimated useful life. May tinatawag tayong net book value. Ano naman ito? Ito yung difference between the cost of the property and the accumulated depreciation. That is net book value. So, net book value refers to the portion of the cost of property that has not yet been recorded as depreciation expense. It is also known as the depreciated value. So, paano yung formula niya? It is cost of the property minus accumulated depreciation. So, let us have, let us have this example. The equipment was purchased on January 1 for 160000 is estimated to have useful life of 10 years at the end of which it can be sold for 40000 Annual depreciation based on our computation is 12000 Paano makompute si net book value? Cost of the equipment, 160000 Less accumulated depreciation, 12000 Meaning, at the end of year 1, the net book value is 148000 so, the accumulated depreciation account is a valuation account because it is used to determine the depreciated value of the property. Since the accumulated depreciation account is deducted from an asset, then it's also known as a contra-asset account. So, we have the following summary. In the computation of adjusting entry, we have format is debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation. So, nakalagay dyan, equipment. So, yan ipapalitan natin kung ano yung fixed asset na uh, or asset na dinepreciate. Then, ang depreciation expense, ang papasok, papasok ito sa income statement, ang accumulated depreciation, sa balance sheet ito. So, laging tatandaan kapag mag-compute ng depreciation, always check the date of the purchase. Kailan ito binili. And, that book value is equal to cost of the property less accumulated depreciation. I hope na intindihan ang ating discussion. Thank you so much.